Pero el mío. Albert, uh, going on from a uh, difficult loss here at home against LAFC, uh, what were your thoughts now that that's kind of simmered down? Maybe you've looked at some tape on it. What kind of went wrong? I mean, pretty much everything. Um, you know, some small decisions uh, to, you know, rebound, second goal, you know, great strike, but you don't see a lot of those happening. Um, first goal, PK. Third goal transition, um, you know, pretty much everything. We weren't as clinical in the final third as we as we were games prior to that. Um, and yeah, you know, all those little things added into the final result, which meant we lost uh, we lost three zero. How much of that came from that three main back line that LAFC put on and maybe prevented Jordan from finding space behind with that? Yeah, well, I'm sure they, you know, just as we watched their tape, they watched our tape and. They came very well prepared. They knew, um, you know, where our main focus in terms of attack is, and uh, you know, credit to them, they did it really well. You know, they they clogged up the space in the middle. Um, but we have faced the back line of five many times um, this year already, and and more often than not, we we figured it out, and and we were, you know, able to score multiple goals, um, especially at home against the against the back line of five. So it's it's nothing that we haven't seen. Um, but, you know, um, yeah, it was on us. It was on us, honestly. It's not our best performance uh, by any means. And uh, against an opponent like LAFC, you have to be at your best. And you go back a few years and it's uh, eight straight without a win against LAFC. Is there something that they do especially well that just seems to match up right with you guys? Yeah, that's a tough question to answer. They. They must be doing something, right? Let's be honest. If, if it's eight games now, but um, yeah, for whatever reason, you know, we we haven't been able to to beat them recently, and uh, you know, we're facing them in a month time in the in the Open Cup, and um, looking at the League Cup and how the brackets are done, there could be a chance that we would face them again there. So you know, I'm sure we will play them at some point this year again and uh, you know we'll have to we'll have to do better and I feel like it, all it takes is one game to beat them and then you know that kind of unwinning streak is, is ended you know so yeah it's uh, yeah it's unfortunate because we had a good run um, you know we were in a good form good momentum we were collecting points you know on regular basis and then this loss Given how the other results went, you know we could have we could have get closer to the top uh, top three, you know. Um, but it's one game, you know. We can forget about the the things we've done well in the previous games, and there's you know ten plus games ahead of us as well in the league uh, or something like that. So you know, plenty of games to to collect losses. How much does a loss like that undo the momentum you get built up? Um, to be honest, not a lot because the momentum would have been broken down anyway because the league goes on pause and this is a completely different tournament and, uh, you know, as much as you still want to do well and win these games, you know, um, the MLS is going to be on break, you know, and uh, so in terms of momentum, I don't think it does a, a lot of damage uh, losing this game. Um, you know, we're starting off fresh, zero points um, this Friday playing Minnesota, so it's a new thing and it might be a good thing that that loss came right before. The League's Cup, you know, uh, maybe, you know, we'll find a little more motivation um, for the Minnesota game and um, and then we'll be looking to get back on it once, once the MLS starts. You know, what is the motivation for, like, in the League's Cup? I mean, it's it's another tournament, right? It's another trophy on the line. Um, you know, me, they're, they're games that mean something, you know. These are not friendly games. We're not trying to fit in. Um, you know, some friendly games just to play and stay in the rhythm. You know, this, these are official games. It's a, it's a big tournament, and it's a tournament that's been successful in the previous years, and I'm sure it will last for, for a long, long time after us as well. You know, so we need to enjoy it. You know, take the game seriously, and then try and you know go as uh, go as, as far as possible. Uh, Pepe de la Vega played both wings. He's a player that usually plays pretty free. Tries to get the ball a lot at his feet. How, where would you say your chemistry with him on the field is, and how can it get better? 
It'll get better by playing more together. I don't know, we played maybe 60 minutes together this year. Um, so, yeah, I, I believe this is the, the first game that we started together, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and then the game in Austin, he played first half, I played second half. So, I mean, we haven't played together at all. So, it will get better by, you know, more minutes, I would say, on the field. Um, you know that, but now he's back healthy. You know, we, we hope he stays healthy for the rest of the year, and uh, you know, and, and training together, spending more more time on the field together. That that's that's what's going to build up uh, the chemistry, not with just me, but with you know, with with everybody. Did you feel like there was a little bit of a disconnect there because of that? Lack of I mean, it was a it wasn't an ideal game, right? To, to we didn't play well as a team, so then it's harder for individuals to kind of click and, 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 you know, the more individuals you have to play better, I feel like more chance you, you have as a team to be good, but I don't think we, we were good as individuals nor as a team. So it's, you know, I wouldn't base anything off, off the last game.